Hello, hello boys and girls, welcome to another live stream and tonight, well, I was going to build something so why not have you join here um, and do this together. So as you may have <laughs> may have guessed from the title and the, and the thumbnail, we're going to build uh, Lord Croak. Yay! Super excited about this as I've been waiting for a cool slam model for a very, very long time. Um, can you all hear me well? Please uh, let me know in the, in the chat if the sound is coming on uh, fine or not. So I'm going to do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of unboxing. I really don't like unboxings very much, but I have to unbox it. So, of course, I'm more or less cheating because, well, um, <laughs> I have already taken this and have a look, of course. So here's the instruction manual to... Uh, three small spruce seems like this was like this in the um, in the mold and a very lovely round base Yeet! I'm not going to need that because I have this look at this beautiful beautiful corners oh, oh so nice so beautiful so square oh Hmm, I think I'm going to need, I know, five or ten minutes with this alone. Just joking, of course. I'm going to have my time when, once this is all finished. Um, an old build up, you know, is going to be a good one. So, I'm going to leave the base here for a while. Hello, Tyrannosaur. <laughs> nice to see you here. Uh, I know you hate unboxings, but I'm going to actually build it, so it's, I think it's more or less fair. <laughs> Let's hope. Uh, three is a small spruce. Uh, everything looks nice. I have, a of course, checked this before uh, doing this. We're not going to need the box anymore. No, it didn't come with a square base. I um, I made this myself. I had some um, uh, FDM laser cut bases for my Kings of War armies. Um, this is 75 millimeters, but um, I didn't had uh, an 80, and I, and I really wanted this to fit on a, on an 80 because uh, that's the original uh, round base. So I just 3D printed um, a small frame. A little bit slanted, which I really prefer, and this is uh, primed in black, so it doesn't look uh, very gnarly. I just sanded the edges so it's a bit a bit smoother, and this will be for my Kings of War army. So, yeah, the most handsome frog boy. Yeah, this <laughs> is such a cool model. Uh, I think I'm going to build him with the uh, with the mask because I really like all these feathers here. I think they look fantastic. And I'm really uh, looking forward to paint this. I'm still not sure if I'm going to paint this um, uh, in a full tutorial because this is going to take forever. But I might, I might do um, live streams of this because I'm really looking forward to paint this uh, for my army. Uh, although I'm not, I really don't know how I'm going to transport this. Uh, this is, this is uh, basically half of my, <laughs> of my army box um, of my army. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to, to take this apart, uh, to take this to the events, but I still want to paint him. Okay, let's start with this. Um, since we starting with this, as always, trusty red grass nippers, the best ones. And I am going to just get on with this. So we are doing first step. Let's go. If you have any questions or anything, or you just want to chat, just leave it in the in the chat. I I more or less can read while I'm doing this. This is not uh, very intensive. Mm -hmm. um, Adrian, I'm not sure if I'm going to do so. 
I'm for sure going to leave Croak and the Skink out of the... Out, uh, not glued in, that's for sure. And for the rest, I don't know. I, I haven't looked at any videos of people uh, building this or, or anything. I just... I will probably do go along with this. But I think the the chair and everything around is kind of integral, so I think most people have um, built him uh, with with uh, little, like everything and then um, leave Croak and the skink apart. So uh, next bit, iron other sprue. I'm guessing. Yes. There's this another one. It's a bit hard to fix to uh, fit everything in in the frame, but I think we we are going to manage this. Yeah, I'm. I I do have a. A, uh, it's not metal, it's a fine cast uh, croak, and they, the chair itself just it just doesn't fit. Uh, it, there is no way you can you can make that fit without uh, re sculpting basically uh, the whole of the of the of the of the back panels. Basically, it's just a mess. Yeah, plastic is it's always better. So if you have any any doubts. And metal is even worse than 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 fine cast in my book. So yeah, I just said that. <laughs> so I I did just say that, but I really think that is the case. Yeah, plastic is king for sure. If you have any doubts uh, of what I'm doing or or whatever, just let me know. But it's pretty straightforward and just taking a hobby knife to take away uh, all the uh, sprue gates. And then I will go probably with the uh, with a trusty uh, mold line remover. I really like this tool. I think it's one of the best tools that GW makes. I think it's fantastic. But first I like to make sure I have all of this. And I think we'll be here for, I think, a couple hours. Sounds about right. I hope I can build him in that time, but it's basically going to be uh, the time it takes me to build this. This is, by the way, one of the best <laughs> Friday's evenings I can think of, if I'm honest. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, um, I'm probably think I do think they will make more models. Um, I'm expecting them to to redo the whole range of, or at least the the fine cast uh, models, at the least. But who knows with GW? You, you can never be sure with, of that, sadly. Uh, but it seems like the the range has a lot of potential, so I'm really looking forward to that. My wallet isn't, by the way, because. Uh, I already have a full army of this, and um, buying more wasn't on my plans, but this is too cool to pass. Um. Yeah, about the old wall. I'm having my doubts. I don't think it's going to be what people think it's going to be. At least most of the of the of the old uh, Warhammer Fantasy people, I think they're expecting something. I don't think GW is going to give it to them. Because what's the point in making a game where you can just reuse your own armies? This makes no sense. If if they're going to do that, they would just make something like really quick, like. 
a couple months worth of work, put the book out, make some profit and move on. But such a long time development, I think, is going to be something very different. I personally don't really care. I moved on to Kings of War, which I think is a much better game anyway. And I never looked back. I mean, the once you try a game with uh, one, good rules, and two, the absolute best uh, community out there. And I'm not, um, I'm not even exaggerating any bit. If you never have, if you have never experienced a gaming community like the Mantic Games community, you will. If you're only used to to GW gaming community, you will be amazed at what you see. I've seen things in in um, in hardcore uh, tournaments that I haven't seen in all of fantasy, and I mean, and I mean it in the in the good sense, of course. My worst experiences uh, in tournaments have always been GW ones <laughs> by a long shot. But you know, I like many of us thought that was the norm until I just moved on and I realized that I was just that was just not true. Yeah, Curse City. I really enjoy Curse City and um I really think that was uh, a flop for them in the sense that they weren't expecting all the all the all the problems that they probably having to make it with with China and all the all the paperback um, being very difficult to make nowadays. So um, I, at this point, I don't really think they will make more. Uh, probably yes, but I don't really care. And I will be honest with you, I tried playing the game and it wasn't fun. <laughs> at least not. For what I wanted to be, I wanted something like mm, quick, fun, uh, light-hearted. I I didn't mind a little bit of grind, but playing it was like just you just doing the same thing over and 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 over again. It just felt so, like such a drag to play. Um, I know there are community mods and I may try them, but uh, I just wanted the game to play with my wife here, and she likes the models and she likes the 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 ambient uh, of the of the whole game. That she thought that was cool, but the game itself was just not enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. I honestly, the first time I did a building live stream, which was for Curse City, I never thought so many people were interested at all in seeing me build models. So I just did it because why not? I had, I had, I I always have my camera ready because uh, it's it's always there. I'm I'm not using that camera for anything else. That it's not re re recording videos. Um, and I thought, what? Why not just turn it on and enjoy it and have fun? And suddenly, a lot of people liked it, and I was surprised. So I just did it again. So because why not? And I'm thinking, as I said at the beginning of, of the video, of instead of doing a full tutorial on this, just paint this during the live streams because um, it's just too big, and I just want something that I I can paint for for myself and he will probably stay in in a shelf <laughs> for the entirety of his lifespan because I, I have no way to transport this i have one single bag for the whole army and it's already full it's full to the brim and uh, it holds my whole army i'm really happy with it i made it i managed to make that fit inside one box and and i'm really happy <laughs> so um Having to um, having to uh, find another transport uh, back for 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 just croak makes me 
not happy at all. So I'm not sure if I'm going to ever use him, but I will for sure uh, paint him because I think it's very really cool. Although I really wish GW had made a dual kit with this and made us uh, able to to build a regular land with it, but you know. Whatever, I am not complaining. I already have a, a painted this land and I'm very happy with him, so. He's metal though, <laughs> which is a pain in the ass, if you ask me. Like a real pain in the ass. It's the, it's the only model that just will tip over always. It's just a pain. And it's, whole, it's such a big weight, hauled by a, those uh, transparent plastic rods the GW uses and they just break over all the time. It's such a pain. Uh, hello, John. Um, Mike B, do you think Lost Kingdom Listenmen are better than Games Workshop Listenmen? No, uh, because I really like uh, GW Listenmen. They are, to me, the, the Lost Kingdom minis are fantastic minis but they don't look like the listenmen that i like so uh i i didn't i didn't bought them i really like gw style and i ha and i really like my my whole army to look the same i i rarely mix and match minis from different from different ranges even if i'm allowed by playing games of war to do so i really don't 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 like that i really enjoy collecting an army that is aesthetically perfect in, in in the sense that it's all made by, by the same company and have the same look so um, that's one of the reasons why I haven't really started the Kings of War army like a fully uh, Mantic uh, minis I bought some Trident Realms and I really like them but I they don't have the full range so until they release it I will uh, just hold a bit also I really don't want to build the 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 uh, snake boys from the Trinan realms like <laughs> i really don't want to build them oh it's time i open the box i have them i have the four of them because i i bought three regular and a leader to make a a, a horde and each time i opened the, i opened that box just just feels like <laughs> such a dread feeling over my head i just don't want to build them I, I probably if 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 Mantic releases them in resin instead of metal, I will for sure uh, probably not sell them. I just will just throw it in the bin and buy the resin ones. Honestly, because I is I just don't want to build them. I really don't want to build them. Happy Friday, Christian. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, are you planning to paint and upload uh, to YouTube as well? Uh, I probably don't. I highly doubt I will make a full video tutorial. I have already said it, but I don't really mind repeating myself. But I will probably uh, stream in uh, painting him. Uh, I'm thinking about Fridays, like like today, like a couple a couple hours from uh, ten to. Uh, 12 o'clock here of course uh, uh, Spain time um, I'm thinking of doing that just because I want to paint him and it seems like fun uh, little project uh, a passion project as well which is all, always easier to to maintain motivation um, so yeah I'm probably probably going to do that at some point I'm 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 thinking about it the the issue with with making a full video about this is for, uh, first of all I want this to match my army so it's not going to look like the box art it's going to look a bit like the box because I like it but it's going to have details that would make uh, it match for my army that's number one and uh, number two um, it's not going to be heavy heavy contrast that's for sure because um, my army is not painted like like that so um, I will use a mix and match of techniques but it's not going to be heavy contrast and um, it feels like a drug I also just thinking about editing it it's going to be it's going to take at least a month to make so it's going to be the only video in the month and 
it's going to take such a long time that, but that by the time that I have this um, uh, finished and edited, uh, it's just going to be... Uh, uh, people will just have moved on, I think. And also, I really don't want to edit such a long video. It's such a pain. Painting models on camera is really hard. So people just don't realize how, how much harder it is. Because I have to be careful that it's in focus. I have to use manual focus, of course, because when I'm doing in 4K, if I don't use manual focus, there's a lot of focus breathing, as you can see. Like, the focus is doing that all the time, like this. And then it will be, it will, it will catch again. There you go. So I have to, I have to be so <laughs> careful with this all the time. It's such a pain. So, uh, yeah, and with such a big model, it's going to be really hard. So, um, if I had a camera guy like, like, um, like Duncan does, I would probably do it because then all my issues will, will be just non-existent. But as I film in this myself with an overhead camera, this is such a pain. It's very, very hard to do. Okay, so this seems like this fits there. And this fits here. There you go. And this fits like this. There you go. That's a very nice fit. I'm really impressed by GW's um, technology uh, mold. Technology is just so nice. I mean, like, others just cannot compete. It's just not possible. The beauty, the engineering that goes into making this, this models is just incredible. There you go. And gluing this, of course, Tamiya Extra Thin, the best glue for your models. It's the only stuff I use. Yeah, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I have a little bit of a fingerprint there. That's crap. <laughs> well, it's just a rock. I can make it a bit weathered. It's not going to be very noticeable. Damn. I hate when that happens. Oh, you really have to be so careful with these models. I will probably sand this a tiny bit so I get rid of that crap there. Ah, pisses me off a bit. If I'm honest, I hate when that happens. I'm always so careful with my building. I'm just one of those people that just the tiniest defect makes me very angry. Okay. Oh, such a nice fit with all the, with all the, um, this roots here are oh, so nice. What a beautiful model this is. There you go. I think I'm going to leave this to dry. Ah, oh, no, <laughs> don't worry, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. I am clumsy as all, as all I am, so don't worry too much. <laughs> I just make that all the time. Oh, there you go. So how are you guys spending night apart from watching me build the dead frog? Are you looking forward for the weekend? Because honestly, I'm not. I have to work. And it sucks. I have to spend the whole weekend and probably ha will have to go um, both days, Saturday and Sunday to work, which sucks. 
but what are you going to do? There you go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's a nice fit there. I always like to put the glue uh, through the inside if I can. Move that tiny bit there. There you go. Very nice. Oh, I really like in this model a lot. But yeah, I will. This will need a fill-in and sanding, so that's going to correct that anyway. Let's look for the next piece, which is six and seven. I really like how GW names um, the spruce with the order that they that you have to build. It's so nice, such a nice touch. You would think that everyone would do that, but yeah, no, <laughs> not at all, <laughs> not at all. Such an easy thing to do, and n not everyone does it, and it's such a nice touch. So really like when they hide the the um, the. The mold lines, like here, for example, I don't have to clean anything because this will probably go and glued like that, and that will heal uh, hide all the mold lines, which is nice. Painting some Death Guard, drinking beers, watching you and watching football. That's nice. I'm kid bashing Necromunda terrain right now, Terrainosaur. You are always kid bashing terrain. <laughs> it's awesome, by the way. If you want to see some awesome terrain, um, just go watch Terrainosaur's channel. It's fantastic. I I just don't like I terrain is something that I I'm just such a bad builder and so lazy I just can't get around to do it <laughs> I don't care I just go I just go to a to a to a shop they have all the all the terrain there for me I play my games and they go back home <laughs> I I really don't like making terrain I also find it really impressive people like like Tyrannosaur or like um, Luke Towan, which makes such an amazing, realistic looking uh, scenes. This always feels like, like magic to me. There you go. I think we have to build this now. Yeah. This goes. Oh, okay. Uh, I do have to clean this. I do have to clean this. So this piece here, you have to slide. There is some. Let's see if I can focus. Focus on me. Come on. I think that's more or less in focus. There are some notches here that you have to put this like that. Like slide it into place. And it snaps really satisfyingly and, and, and nicely, but it's not um, intuitive. So if you're going to build this, uh, be careful with this. Um, I'm not going to full assemble it, uh, Mike. I will. I will do sub assemblies, but probably I'm, I'm not sure yet. I'm sure that I will paint Croak uh, and the Skink separately. That's for sure. But I'm not sure about the rest. I'm not sure about the the whole ring thing. I will figure it out as I go, basically. But this seems like this is like basic. So that's a future me problem. <laughs> Very near future me but still 
not my problem. That was nice. Ooh, first page. <laughs> I know the skin will be blue because all my skins are well blue. They are teal, not blue. Uh, but the croak itself, uh, I'm going to go basically uh, like a box art. The the probably the the stone on his uh, throne will be different than the box art, and uh, I'm not sure how I will want to do all the floaty rings around. Oh, so we have to leave this for now. New pieces. Okay, we need eight and nine, and 10 and 11. So this is 10. There you go. I have to get this from the other side. There you go. This is 10. I need 11 now, which I'm sure will be around here somewhere. I'm usually pretty good with placing them more or less near each other, but who knows. This is here. Yeah, 11 is here. Oh. Whatever. Sometimes people complain that they are like finding the pieces takes a long time. But they don't realize that to make this kind of a spruce that are so full and, and just three spruce for this hugely complicated model, they have to go into there are a lot of a lot of concerns about um, piece placement and and how they interact with each other and how they will uh, release from the mold. There's a lot of things going on that we don't understand because of course we have no knowledge about uh, mold making. There you go, this is uh, 8, and this is 9, yeah, this is near, there you go. Yeah, the whole month will be 9 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 p.m. every day for me. I informally inform the wife. <laughs> Unfortunately, I work from home, and it's great to watch and play at the same time. Yeah, I don't work from from home. Um, I always say um, that my boss is a jackass, uh, and I'm self-employed, so go figure. So <laughs> let's build this up. <laughs> yeah, it really sucks. But I more or less like my job, so I'm guessing I'm fortunate I wish I could be building models instead of working but I'm <laughs> painting but uh, this is not a viable job <laughs> not yet at least and probably not for me because I I'm a, I'm a bit of an idiot, and I believe in sharing a knowledge for free. So that kind of puts me in a bad situation economically if I wish to proceed. Because um, believe it or not, what YouTube uh, pays you is such a crap amount of money for the amount of work put in. You really have to have videos in the in the in hundred thousands and million views to really get anything resembling to uh, an income from from just YouTube alone, of course. Patreon, uh, luckily, is there. And it's a, a really essential resource for the people that, 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 like me, are making videos, because otherwise uh, this would just, wouldn't be, um, possible because of course uh, gear is very expensive <laughs> I would just say that uh, once you start looking into getting better gear if you if you if you have a doubt of 
how much this channel has improved in terms of uh, emissions and quality, go watch my earlier videos. Go watch something like how to paint uh, redhead hair or blonde hair, which was kind of a midpoint, and you will see how much a difference a good mic and a good camera with a good lens uh, makes. And that is expensive. That's ridiculously expensive. The last lens that I bought, which is uh, this one that I'm using now, is the, um, this is a, uh, I think it's a 35, it's a 32 millimeters um, Canon F, um, EFM lens. And this um, is EFM? Yeah, it's an EFM lens, 32 millimeters. This was 400 euros. I will just say that, just for the lens. Is the lens is basically as expensive as the camera? <laughs> it's just, a, and the mic is expensive. Everything is expensive. So, thank to my to my uh, amazing patrons, I have been able to improve massively what I what I make, and I'm really happy. But that wouldn't be possible without them. It's just not viable. I'm not rich in any way, shape or form. Um, and this really means a lot to, uh, to me. There you go. Like, oh, like that. That's nice. Nice fit. I think you have to clean a bit of here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Calvo, but yeah, he's not that Sergio Calvo, but, but yeah, I like to think he is because that would be amazing. <laughs> not that I don't appreciate you, Sergio, but you know. I'm sure you wish you could paint like him. I do. <laughs> oh yeah, I wish I could paint like him. He's he's one of the of the absolute best painters right now, and he has been for a very long time also, which is not easy. Yeah, the music uh, the music is from the YouTube audio library. I I always get asked about the music. I have no idea what the original name was. Sometimes someone finds it and tells me, and I forget immediately because honestly, my brain just cannot hold that sort of information. I downloaded it uh, a very long time ago, since my very first video. And uh, since then, I it was immediately renamed as Background, and I forgot about the name, but it's from the YouTube Audio Library, because otherwise I will have to pay, and I'm not willing to do so for a piece of music for my videos. Hey, thank you, Arnold, the guns is very, very generous of you. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot. Let me just say that. It really does mean a lot. Okay, let's keep building this. Let me make this a bit more. Let me see if I can make this so you can see more of my table. That seems like a good angle. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. For sure, if if I painted half as good as Sergio, I will also die happy. It's one of those, uh, just he's just so good. And you have to see him paint to realize that he's just a genius. There's people like him, uh, Ben Comet, uh, Richard Gray, which also have a, a, a YouTube channel uh, now, and he's uploading videos, so I really highly recommend you go and subscribe to Richard Gray's channel. The man's just a genius. See him paint just like um, deep dive into the into the mind of one of the of the absolute best painters right now, and it's such an it's so valuable to me. Watch him paint is fantastic. Also, really low subscriber count, but he will grow for sure. But of course, uh, when you don't make flashy videos like with with uh, stupid titles <laughs> like this one, <laughs> or like you know, 
you know the the, the clickbaity type of videos with everything is, is like real high stake and like oh you won't believe this or you know crap like that uh, when you just make painting videos people are seem to just not be very interested which is a shame but it's just the world of we live in yeah 48 viewers that's amazing i really i'm always each time i go and look at the at the viewer count i'm i'm always thinking this is we are we are like the there, there is going to be like six people watching and there's always a lot of people watching me build models amazing so uh, tell me what what tutorials do you want to see next now is the time to ask for videos i will do them uh the next one is going to be this guy here I'm really looking forward to painting i but I haven't even started yet nice it's a i hate being so so busy that i just cannot even start i'm so tired when i get home that starting a video seems like like it's just a starting once i once i just get going it goes fairly uh, without like pro problems and it's just starting that is just breaking that barrier was such a difficult some sometimes a lot of people ask me uh, when i do live streams what do you do to keep to uh, keep motivated and the answer is just sit down and do it just do something simple just a base code that's what I usually do is like probably when I sit down I'm going to say I would just base code his flesh like that's going that that's going, I just going to base code his flesh and I probably end up uh, doing half of the model <laughs> in one sitting so but I know that I need that uh, kind of thinking to to get started Have a good weekend, uh, Christian. Thank you for watching. Yeah, grief houses is a good um, uh, subject actually because I really like the models. I I do have uh, grief hounds because I uh, planned an ogre kings of war army using stormcast models because they are big as big as ogres. They really fit really well, and I was going to use the grief hounds um, as the red goblins. Um, at the mounted red goblins and as I thought it was be a, like a cool choice so I do have some grip fans that's a good uh, choice actually and that's a good call I really like that they also seem like they're going to be very fast to paint which is also a plus for me because um, some videos just take such a long time I remember especially which one was the the one that took like the most mental uh, uh, strength to finish probably the orc yeah the orc wasn't pleasant the orc was a pain and I, it's not that I don't like orcs um, orcs are okay but for some reason that took so long that was that 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 one was painful I also believe that one was sponsored by by Skillshare I'm not sure and that makes it hard because you have a deadline and um, I'm not good with deadlines. <laughs> I'm not good at all with deadlines. So yeah, that makes it even harder. Oh, nice. You see what I really like? I really like when they hide the seam cleverly, like that tri triangle there. That's so, so nice. Oh. Because other companies don't do it. This seems, again, seems like a logical thing to do, but other other people don't do it so uh, it's not like uh super common so yeah i really appreciate that i really like how this model has been engineered it's really nice there you go <coughs> oh maybe that's awesome um these men are my favorite army well, it's not my favorite, like absolute favorite army. That probably is Britonia, but it's the 
army that I like it, that I like painting the most, which is different. It's it's similar, but it's different at the same time. How are you going to fit in here? You're going to just snap into place? Yeah. Oh, oh, so satisfying that. Oh, that was awesome. Very satisfying. Yes, yes, yes. I'm liking this. So clever. As an engineer, because I actually studied engineer, believe it or not, engineering, believe it or not, uh, I find this kind of stuff super satisfying. Uh, reactor, I find picking a tutorial for a specific model really hard. Like just like watching the videos, uh, guys, like you put out and learn something every time. Yeah, um, to be honest, I I personally don't make the videos. I I know a lot of people just follow them, um, uh, or, or or some people just don't watch them if they don't like the subject. But I personally believe that there is always something uh, useful to find in every video, even if it's not your army. Even if it's not what you uh, personally like, model-wise, there's always something uh, useful there. At least that's what I want to believe. There you go. Very nice. Look at this. Very nice. I wanted to see you paint the boy dragon. Oh yeah, that's an awesome model. It's too big for an, for an online tutorial. I and also I, I I I will be honest with you. I kind of wish that GW send me one. I've acted them so many times for because they they send it to a lot of people and and I send them a lot of emails asking, hey, can I join that group? Of people, I I make a lot of videos about your models, <laughs> like all of them. Um, and they even only use your models, but uh, they just seem to ignore me. So yeah, I should have something like a sad music now playing. But yeah, so uh, I'm probably not going to 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 buy it just because like if they are not willing to send me one, I just it's not a model that I'm interested in personally. So I'm probably not going to buy it. Uh, there's a reason for applying uh, the glue after lining up the pieces instead of before. Yes, yes, this with uh, this glue is so thin that it just uh, runs into the whole uh, crack, just uh, with uh, with the capillary action. So uh, it's better to just line up and then just touch it, and the glue will run through the whole seam and uh, glue it perfectly. It's such a lovely thing to have. Like try it makes for a much better um, building experience on plastic models this is like s tier uh, thing for if you don't have this you are just missing out i will just say that okay so we have this we have this and we have okay now pieces 14 and 12. this will be the inside crystals the glowing crystal, there you go. So, another question. Do you guys like building models? Because a lot of people doesn't. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like building uh, models, I think. But I actually do like building my, my models a lot. Especially when they are well made like this, uh, like the new GW models. It's... And especially when you have been building other brands and you go back to a GW model and it's like, oh yeah, this is the good stuff. <laughs> People really don't appreciate how good GW models are to build. 
until they build something that is not GW. And even people that make really good models, like, like Malifaux models, they are beautiful, but such a pain to put together. This is like ridiculously complicated and fiddly. And GW models are not like super easy, but those Malifaux models are just ridiculous. I've seen a model where a face was composed of, of three different pieces. A face. My god, that was a pain in the ass. A friend of mine showed that to me and I thought, like, come on. <laughs> I wouldn't build that. I'm like, just, nah. Not worth my time and the suffering. Yeah, building those new monopose models feels tedious. Um, I can oh, crap. Ah! I've lost a piece. <laughs> Wait a second. There you go. <laughs> uh, I, I do like the, the new monopose models. They're, the thing is, um, you have to find a balance between dynamism and and possibility. It's just not, there is a reason why the most of the of the uh, multi uh, pose kits are just just they kind of look goofy because they have to uh, take a lot of compromises. So they 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 kind of. Uh, you kind of uh, fit every part into every body, every hand, and and, and so on. Um, I personally really like the new monopose models. Personally, I'm not such a. I'm not really bothered that most of the minis look the same because I usually just paint one <laughs> model or two. So, but if I was to make a full army, well, maybe. But to be to be to be fair, the old skink um, kit was really was really like a monopose. It's like you you have like four or five bodies, and then the arms just snap into the into all of them. But yeah, it was kind of kind of like a predating or like um, predicting what it's going to be the future of the of the model kit so it's a very nice kit even if, it, if it's quite old by, to, by today's standards how old is that kit like 20 years maybe now maybe not 20 years but very old and Mark Atkinson I want to blame you entirely for buying a little man army recently <laughs> looks like I'll be your father by a croak too yeah I know the pain, <laughs> but you made the right choice. Listen, men are the right choice. I know you're going to uh, base them in in a square basis because you are a man of of great taste and culture. Even if you don't use them for kings of war, which is a bit of a shame, a bit of a shame. But at least they are on square basis. <laughs> Personally, I disagree, but that's okay. We can still be friends. Yeah, that's that's the best thing about uh, this hobby is like we can all have different preferences, and it's always okay. I hope you don't mind if I drink something. I kind of feel thirsty, so if you see me drink from that time, I'm sorry. Go like this. Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 kind of protruding here. It feels a bit unintuitive how you have to build it, but yeah, yeah that is the way. This is the way. Yeah, that's the way. So 
glue it in place and move on. Oh, so you, uh, try it. If you if you like um, fantasy, then I know that you do. Try Kings of War. Uh, uh, when you start playing, it feels like a bit underwhelming because you have like very little options in in terms of what you can do. It's not like as uh, complex as fantasy, and it's not complex in the sense that Warhammer Fantasy is complex. I mean, it's not. Kings of War is very complex game but not in terms of of rules like the amount of rules uh, uh, but it's complex in uh, in uh, tactically and a lot of people find that uh, when you when you play some rules against them uh, some um, things like the people like I don't know if you any any one of you here play Kings of War but the first time that someone does a course crew on you it's like like what <laughs> what just happened <laughs> like what the hell just happened and 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 then they explain it to you and say oh crap that's very clever and um, and you start to see the game in a different way the, the kind of stuff that you can make and you have to think about when you're playing like um, high level competitive uh, games of war it's amazing it's just so good it's it's very more like chess than Warhammer Fantasy is in that sense. It's very, very much like a, a nerd chess because every, everything you know how much everything moves. You know it's, it's very predictable, so you can plan ahead. And uh, yeah, so it's 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 a fantastic game. I, I really enjoy it, but it's very stressing when you're playing it because this is, you have to think about uh, like two or three turns of your turns and your opponent turns in advance otherwise you you will lose and you will lose hard okay uh 13 and 15 seems like is there saludos desde mexico saludos asteroid tv gracias por verme Your is about to make me buy one. <laughs> it's such a cool model. Look at this. It's beautiful. I mean, like just from the engineering uh, point of view, this is so good. Oh, there's a gap here, for example. I don't like that gap. Can you see that? That's a bit gnarly. Yeah, that is a bit too much. I will have to build. I will have to fill that gap. That 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 gap feels like a. A slight mistake in the in the in the design of the when they did the the partition because there is no way that can that can fit like closer so I'm, I'm guessing that is a mistake but maybe oh no 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 I think I can I think I may be able to slide that in maybe I wasn't pressing hard enough There you go. Oh, it closes. I glued in, in uh, badly, it seems. There you go. There you go. I will still have to fill that with a bit of putty, but it's not going to be as bad. Yeah, Kiss of War is, is, is fast and fun. Yeah, it's it's very fast. You can play a full 2000 point uh, army, which is like full on the game. You're not missing anything. Uh, and it, and, and the full game will take an hour and a half and it will take an hour and a half because, uh, especially if you're playing tournaments, because you, you use uh, chess clocks. So you have 45 minutes 
and the other people don't have 45 minutes or 50 minutes and that's all the whole time that you have if you uh, if you if you time out you cannot move so you i think uh, the rule is that if you time out you can um change the orientation of a unit but you cannot move it so you just can uh, turn it in the spot but not like fully move it so yeah um, uh, it's it is a very fast game and there are tournaments that are um like time trial type tournaments which each round of the of the of the of the tournament it takes away time so for the first round you have played like a full 45 minutes and for the and for the second round it may be like five minutes less or 10 minutes less and the and the, and the next one will be 10 minutes less and so on and so forth and it's, uh, it's those kinds of feels like it's impossible but you you do it you have to think very fast and I move very fast and throw dice very fast which makes for a, a really fun playing experience because uh, uh, you just play by instinct basically and it's it's it makes for a really really fun experience I really I highly recommend also having to use chess clocks for tournaments is genius because how many times playing a a competitive game of uh, you know 40k you have found one opponent that was just delaying the game because uh, that way he will he was going to win or just one guy that may not do it on purpose but is so slow that it's just pain to pay to play against it's just turning taking away all the enjoyment well that that just doesn't happen with games of war it's impossible because there is uh if he times out then you just keep going and and just win the game it's fantastic such a good game Yeah, um, I can speak Spanish, but uh, if you don't mind, unless it's just like a very direct question, I prefer to speak English just because uh, most of my audience is uh, doesn't speak Spanish. So I can, of course, I, I am Spanish, so I can speak Spanish, obviously, but I do prefer um, English for the videos just because, first of all, when I chose English was basically because, um, well, first of all, in my first three videos I wasn't even speaking um, and then I started speaking and I chose English just because I knew it would, it would gather me a bigger audience and I wasn't wrong a lot of people uh, tell me why don't you make videos in in Spanish and English and the, uh, the answer is I don't have time I'm not um, Angel, Angel Giraldez did for a bit and uh, like like uh, the, like an English and Spanish version, but yes, I I know that was expensive for him because he was hiring uh, one one person to do it, and also he has he doesn't edit his own video, so um, he has an editor and 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 a person adding subtitles and so on. I do edit my own video, so for me, it's, I just don't have time. Making a video like the skink one or the, the the usual heavy contrast videos, just filming and and editing takes about ten days. So um, yeah, <laughs> maybe I can stretch it if I paint like every day for a long time. I can I can do it in seven, which is what I was in six or um, six more or less, which is what I was doing for a while, like one video a week. But it was way too harsh on me, so I just stopped because. I was it was it was a bit it was painful <laughs> it was just I wasn't sleeping I was uh, usually painting till uh, one half in the morning two o'clock in the morning and it was just too much yeah the 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 I will let you uh, know how I find it. Uh, the shorter game time does some fun. Don't worry, I will play my skin seals request with Red Crest. Yes, Red Crest is the game. Yeah, um, the 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 really fast game makes it feel very different to Warhammer Fantasy because you are feel uh, 
you really feel like you're playing a different um, a style of game. It's, and, and it's a very different style of game. It's not at all like Warhammer Fantasy. It's not even close. It's very different. But being so fast means it's, you can really have a one-day tournament and it doesn't feel like you're missing out, like you're playing just uh, one game or two games. It does feel like a full tournament in a one day. You can play... If you if you play very fast, you can play four games, but usually one day uh, one day years are three games. But it do feel like like a full tournament. It, it's really good fun experience. <laughs> okay, so we have this build again. Some gaps here and there. Uh, yes, I have seen the new models for the for the coming box. Someone asked. Uh, I, just forgotten. Someone asked uh, if, I, if I was going to get the Dominion box. I'm not going to get the Dominion box unless GW sends me one. Which, if they do send me one, I I will. But uh, if they don't, uh, there are just too many models for me there. Uh, I don't play uh, Age of Sigmar. I don't plan on playing Age of Sigmar. I have no interest in the game as it is. I'm not saying it is a bad game. In fact, I do think that. In, with the with the later editions, it, it's turning into a very fun uh, little game, but I'm not interested in it. So I'm not. I don't want to have like a bunch of models stored in a box just because I want to paint two for the video. So if they send me one, I will. I will. Uh, I will take it, of course. But I don't. I'm not counting on it. <laughs> I will just say that. <laughs> I'm really not counting on it. So I will just keep doing my my own stuff. I will keep doing uh, Cure City videos because I really enjoy painting those models a lot. And I will just keep uh, moving through the AOS and 40k factions. I'm um, in a kind of a AOS mood lately. So that's why you will see a lot of AOS videos coming and not very much 40k because I'm kind of tired or bored a bit of 40k after a long time painting 40k stuff but yeah <laughs> Samuel is a very good friend of mine Viva Kings of War y la Liga de Rodia yes he has an amazing Kings of War army from the League of Rodia which is an old uh, basically is, is the old empire uh, army and he's just just painted beautifully. So it's basically the old empire, but with halflings. So it's 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 nice. Although I I kind of remember reading that they are going to change it for um, they're going to basically split the halflings and and the and the Rodians into two different lists. I might be mistaken, but I kind of remember hearing that. I think it's because the uh, Mantic wants to release a, a a halfling army, so they they obviously just want to not make humans. They are not interested in making humans apart from the a main human faction for Kings of War. So uh, they they just split them and ooh, uh. Yeah, I'm so glad they are doing destruction as a starter uh, villains this this time, so I don't have to enlarge my pile of pride. Yeah, um, I think there's been a lot of well, they they kind of mixed it up. The, the first one was against chaos, second one was against uh, death, and this against destruction. Seems like a good uh, mix. I like it personally. And the new crew boys look really, really cool. I really like. What GW is doing, so they, and um, especially when you when you think about it, because you have two orc releases, like at the same time, basically, one for 40k and one for AOS, and they look completely different. When um, usually uh, orcs just have looked the same for both systems for a very long time, I think it's a very clever move to um, uh, and and uh, like um, clear. Um, demonstration uh, of the of the change in in design language between the two games, which I think is a fantastic idea to have. 
uh, with the new Stormcast, which look very different because the, the first Stormcast really did look a lot like Space Marines. Uh, I know it's like a, like the like the easy joke, but it it is true that they actually look a lot like like Space Marines in the in the design language that they were using. And now they are moving away from that, and also with the Orcs are also moving away from that from that uh, 40k Orcs and uh, AOS Orcs look completely different now, which I really like. Um, and I really like them. I think they are fantastic and I think it was a good call for GW to make that um, shift which I'm sure we're going to uh, keep uh, seeing more and more with the new releases so I'm sure they were going to uh, see more and more shifts like to make both games um, in the uh, design language wise uh, very different um, aesthetically which I think is a good idea Uh, any plans for making a blood letter painting video? I will for sure make a blood letter painting video at some point. Um, as I always say when people ask me, all factions from both games will get a video at some point. So, Cone Demons will get a video at some point. The issue is, I don't know when. It's, uh, right now, I'm making about two videos a month. And there are a lot of factions. <laughs> so, um, and and the Curse City project, which is something that I really love, and I'm doing it because I really like the models. Uh, it's going to take like a bunch of, of videos. So um, yeah, it's going to happen, but I don't know when. And don't ask me uh, when because <laughs> again and again, because I really don't know. I wish I could maintain um, GW's release rhythm and my painting videos at the same time, but I cannot. I, I doubt anyone can that is not doing this like a, a full-time job. Oh, no one that, that, that is not doing this like a full-time job can maintain that rhythm of painting videos and um, to keep up with the, with the releases. I'm pretty sure Duncan can. Because Duncan, well, he 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 is doing this full time, and it's awesome for him. I think it's really it's going really well for him, which I'm really happy to see. So uh, if you if you if you don't know, um, when I get back into the into the painting hobby, which was about I don't know, some years ago, I cannot remember six seven years ago, it was thanks to uh, Duncan's videos, for, for thanks to the Warhammer TV uh, videos. And I have a really uh, sincere uh, appreciation of what Duncan does uh, and was doing and is doing now. He he does make a fantastic job, and he is a great. He seems like he is a great guy. I, I can't say he, if he is a great guy or not because I don't know him, but he seems to be a really nice guy. And again, I really appreciate what he's doing because he brought me back into this basically. So. You are seeing me here just because he, uh, because of the Warhammer TV uh, videos, especially his videos, because the back then, back when he, I think it was just him. I, I kind of remember seeing a girl there, like a, a, an Asian um, girl back then. But um, yeah, uh, Peachy wasn't there, of course, and and the new guy wasn't there, obviously, because there was. A very long time ago. Uh, Team Orange, by the way, Croak is uh, quite big, isn't he? You said you don't like big models. I don't like painting big models, honestly. And this is like the 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 limit of what I'm wish of what I'm uh, able to tolerate painting. But sometimes uh, you have to make sacrifices for the sake of uh, cool models, and this is a very cool model. But yeah, he's. He is massive. He is uh, way bigger than what I like to paint. But uh, I have a list of an army, so that's why I'm building him. Not because any other uh, thing, just because uh, I do have an army of Lizard men and I want him in my army. He is a very cool model. Oh, I'm going to keep this here. 
And now I need some spiky, spiky stuff. So this is 16. Mine is always bigger, thank you, man. I have you looking to force grave. Um, I did for a while, I just... I don't know, I just don't like it. I know a lot of people love it, um, but I, for some reason it just uh, says nothing to me. This is one of, those, one of those games that I just... If I try it, I might like it. Because it seems like uh, how it plays, is, it's quite fun. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Mm. Also, I always say, uh, I only have a room in my head for like two game systems, and it's all, it's already taken by by Dead Zone and, and by Kings of War. So, uh, uh, it's I, I, I doubt I could keep up with the with the with the third one. And I like uh, Kings of War and Dead Zone too much to just uh, scrap them off. Such good systems. I mean, like Mantic, you may not like the, the models that they that they make, and I can respect that. Uh, although they are uh, making very good models lately, with some odd thing here and there. Eh. Uh, basically, mainly more design choice than than uh, model quality. But the new goblins are fantastic. The new um, chaos dwarfs or abyssal dwarfs are fantastic. But then you see something like uh, they they, ha they have like a um, like a boat uh, a war type of game. It's called Armada, and and they made for the dwarfs they made a flying worm with like a uh, like like a. Um, dwarvish thing on the top and it just looks so odd I mean I could I could get behind uh, dwarves getting like earthworms because they 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 live underground so it seems like logical to me but for some reason the that worm even being an earthworm has wings which okay I, I can get behind that but it just looked bad it looks it looks goofy to me and I I really think it doesn't look good at all so I think it's a bad design, uh, original idea, which I really appreciate, but a bad design. But yeah, uh, they are making fantastic models and I, they are some of my favorite. Especially the Dead Zone uh, models are, <laughs> I really like that aesthetic. Um, it works for me. So we have the three spiky spikes. It's 55, not bad. Okay, mine is always bigger. Have you uh, tried to progress method of just using very little to make extra thin over the areas where you remove the mold lines to remove the studio and restart it smoothest? I, I have done that for, I've, I've been doing that for a very long time. Yeah, it, it really works. Uh, if you have like a residue of a, of a mold line, you can just run this over it and it will uh, soften it up. I'm not doing it here because I don't care, but when I uh, I have done it and for a very long time and it really works, especially to get rid of this um, like r small chips. I use my brush because I like it. it this is uh, quite stiff as a Rosemary and Co. Uh, a smoothing, a, a smooshing brush is basically the the same as the Artis Opus um, dry brushes, more or less. Uh, they are made by uh, Rosemary and Co, so they are similar, and it works really well for that kind of stuff, like removing them. But this, there's some like stop and residue. I I always use this. Hello, Norman. Thank you for being here. I I know your listenman army is mostly skinks. Not mostly. It's just skinks. I don't use servers. I don't like them. But would you paint them the same way to do the video? Uh, I would do them slightly darker. I think uh, darker colors fit them well. What you can do is just instead of uh, doing the mix that I do with, um, with I think it was Aethermatic Blue and, and Achillean Green, uh, there is like a certain proportion of uh, of Aethermatic and Achillean. 
if you want to make an Archon just uh, uh, have that proportion shift more towards a Killian than to a Thermatic Blue and you will get a good starting point. That would be enough, basically. Ames Richards, they briefly trialed the Asian girl in a few videos before Chris Peach. She was okay, but I guess she didn't enjoy being in front of the ground. That can be, uh, that can very much be, be it. Yeah, um, people really don't understand how hard being in front of the camera is. Uh, it took me like, I would say 10, 15 videos to get, starting to get comfortable just speaking to, to the camera, just doing stuff in front of the camera. And you actually, you don't see my face in any videos until I like very, very, uh, uh, very into my, my YouTube uh, channel. So that was like a big shift, but yeah, yeah. It, it, people really don't uh, understand how hard uh, making videos is. So, uh, but just, uh, I really appreciate anyone that is, has a YouTube channel that is making this. Um, go on and appreciate what they're doing because it's not easy at all. And some people are, are more comfortable. Some people have more like camera presence or more, let's just say, uh, they are more natural in front of the, of the, of the camera. And some people aren't and, and, but if you like it, it's a really fun hobby to, fun hobby to have. And that's for sure. And, and I'm a very shy person, believe it or not, but I, I really have a lot of fun. Oh. It kind of took me a while to get into my, into what I like to make uh, as, as a content creator and how I like to make it. But, but right, right now I'm very comfortable with my, with the kind of videos that I'm making and the, and the kind of content. Oh yeah, that fits here fantastically. Those seem like some flimsy support for a large model, unless I'm missing something and you worries about the model collapsing. There is, this is just like the first stage. Like the, I think like the whole rings around him will add um, anchor points into the base, like a lot of them. Um, but right now, while you're building them, uh, while you're building him, this is like right now it's the only one, but it's, I'm sure it's not going to be the only one once we are finished. Um, that's. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure of that. Oops. Ah, there you go. You have to twist it a bit. There you go. Very nice. So, uh, we have to leave this here for a while and we are now building this ridiculously massive um, thing that is floating above his head. I, I really don't, this is the only part of the model that I really don't like. I think they will like to make their models a, like really big vertically and I really don't like it. Uh, in fact, in my, my slant, I just didn't add, he, they have like a like a like a very tall banner. I never added it. I just left it uh, off. Say I don't like it. But you know, YOLO, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to build him like he is meant to. A uh, Tyrannosaurus says I can't find uh, a dead zone faction that I love. Yeah, um, it can be difficult then. Especially some of the cool factions like uh, Rebels, which aesthetically and, and thematically are really cool. The models are very old and they are rustic, so they are like PVC, which makes them a freaking pain in the ass <laughs> to make. To, to just clean up and build and, and paint is so old. They really should make like new plastic ones, and, but you know, Mantic moves at a slower rate just because they are very small. So other people say, well, why did they don't make more plastic models? Because it's very, making plastic models is very expensive. 
and they are a very small company, like ridiculously small. You people don't usually understand how small uh, Mantic Games is. Yeah, um, I will. Yeah, you have. So you have. Um, let me see the connection points. This is a connection point which goes here, but you, you, what you, and here goes another one. This is quite sturdy one, and this will be connected with this. So this point will be connecting this with this with a frame. So this, like, a, it's making like a triangle. So very solid. And this is also connecting with this, which is very solid, and with this, with this, so and again, uh, triangles all the way. So it's going to be uh, sturdy than you think. This is it's deceptively sturdy. Of course, um, it's not like uh, the solid, the most solid model in the world, but I think it's going to be quite sturdy once you have it um, all glued together and dry. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that, but I doubt this is going to take a long time <laughs> i was planning for two hours and i will stop at 12 o'clock so um you may not see me full i'm 100 sure you won't see me uh, build this fully because i take my time Oh yeah, Norman, uh, I have already answered this, but again, I don't mind answering this again. I doubt I will make a tutorial of this because it's going to take too much time. I don't have that time and also uh, painting this on camera is going to be a pain. But I may do a live stream where I'm just more free to just like, just paint at my own rhythm. And I probably, I, I, will, I will try to stream like with a fixed time each week, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I might do it, but I don't know. I'm a disaster. Like honestly, I'm not with. I'm not good with with time constraints. So I know I can't be like a like a full-on streamer because I'm just a disaster. You have to be very very constant with that. Like half a like a people expect like a timetable which you uh, always respect and you are there at the time and whatever each week and that's like like people that make money streaming is just they are very constant I'm I'm not one of those people but I do want to paint it and if I have to paint it anyways I may turn turn the camera you may not see the full process, but if I paint something off camera, I will always uh, uh, tell what I've what I've done, or point out to a video that covers it, which that might also be the case. There are some mold lines there inside here are very hard to clean. I may clean those up before priming in my workshop. Which I have. A very precise um, hand drill which I have a lot of different bits for it because that's my job so I may do that uh, I may clean those before doing it so if you if you you think I won't I will but not here because it's kind of a pain and I can I am sure I can reach them uh, later on Yeah, um, Man Atkinson. Yeah, it would probably take weeks to paint. I think the studio guy no, I normally paint uh, one person. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that maybe one guy painted the chair and one guy painted like croak and the and the skin. That can happen. But GW is so good at, at um, the the heavy metal team does that very well. For example, squats are not painted. Um, by a single person. They are probably a job of three different people or four different people even. And you, you really can't tell the difference between uh, 
one guy or what which guy has been painted by 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 whom because they are very good at uh, mimicking each other that's part of the of the of the difficulty of being a heavy metal painter is that you you can't showcase your own style for most uh, bits you have to just do you have to be very good at following instructions and getting to the same point as the other person because otherwise you know <laughs> uh, it would be a disaster so if you have to paint an um a group of, a group of 10 guys and you're going to do it uh, it's going to be three people doing it then uh, you all people have to paint it exactly the same they are very good at that it's very difficult by the way Yeah, <laughs> I come up with weird content like Squidman. Yeah, um, the issue when your channel grows to a certain extent is that, um, how to put it, uh, you're kind of a bit of a slave to the to the algorithm as a whole. How does this fit? So, mm, mm, mm. okay, this is a bit confused now, so I'm going to go and check it out. Okay, this is down. It seems like this. Oh yeah, that very nice, very nice. Hey, focus. I think there is function. Yeah, I think there is function well. Okay. You 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 really have to, especially if you are starting to to make a living out of your YouTube channel. Uh, you s suddenly realize that uh, views are very important, like more than what you have uh, previously thought. So you have to do a lot of stuff just because you know it will get the views, uh, even if it wasn't what you were planning to do. Also, just making painting videos is very limited. So you will run out of content making painting videos, just, just painting videos. You will probably run out of ideas very soon. So you need to keep things fresh. So you kind of diverge into other stuff. It's kind of like um, what uh, Scott does, which is moving away from just doing painting videos and is more shifting towards a more cinematic, entertaining uh, kind of um, style, which I totally understand because that way his content is not going to, he's not going to run into like a wall when he he just doesn't know what else to do because especially if, if you're doing oh, if you're doing videos like i do which is just like very specific master class type videos about one model then you can you can have more stuff you just paint another model but people like like him would just more generic kind of uh, videos you uh you can run out of content so uh, shifting away from painting videos into something different is a it's actually a, a smart move yeah um, there were people uh, i know uh, duncan is making one about croak but i'm sure it's going to be behind his paywall which is actually quite uh, reasonable by the way uh, his access i think it's like uh, Four quid or something like that is very, very, very cheap. Yeah, uh, he will be making one, but this is like, look at this. <laughs> this is, this is huge. Look at this. This is humongous. Oh my god, how big this is. I'm way out of my comfort zone with this. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, okay. So we now have to put all these snakes, snakey snakes on the throne. Let's do that. That's probably, this is probably the part of the model that I, that I would probably enjoy the least of these snakes. Because uh, painting the whole throne, this is relatively quick, like 
quick, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's not quick, but it's 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 uh, quick. But the all these snakes, oh my god, the snakes are going to take forever to paint. I remember painting. I painted some snakes for my from a filler base for my uh, one of my units, and those like bunch of snakes took more than than them a lot of stuff that I painted for the army. Are oh, the other sneaky snakes? There they are. Yeah, this is. I'm, I'm not going to enjoy painting this uh, snakes uh, stuff, but what well, you know. Again, it is what it is. One of my problems with my painting style is that you cannot go halfway on parts of the model because they really stand out. So when you add like a metric ton of contrast into everything and you leave one bit with just like a contrast layer, just like a, like a wash and not highlight it, it just stands out so much that I usually go back and highlight them. But I will probably paint these snakes very simply, like contrast, couple of highlights and move on and very simple I mean not not like going on it because this is too much otherwise you would they are not the, the, the they shouldn't be the focus of, 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 of attention but I have a real problem when uh, knowing when to stop highlighting something <laughs> that is an issue I right, need to glue this so it's it's drying. Oh, very nice. Those fit very well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, they do fit very well. Um, the Laurel Ducks uh, asks, have you tried the new STC brushes yet? I've been looking for an option on them I've been on them uh, for a while, but uh, no one's got any yet. No, I haven't, and I don't plan because they are uh, synthetic and I don't use synthetic brushes. That's as simple as that. I don't like synthetic brushes. I think they're a waste of... Uh, they have their, their uses, especially for oils and stuff like that. But for the most part, I think they are a waste of my money because I don't like them. If you like, uh, if you don't want to use like animal hair, which I really do respect, then I think they might be a good option. The 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 shapes and and sizes seems to be seem to be like good choices. I really like uh, GW brush sizes and so on, uh, quite a lot. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you if you like synthetic brushes, then I think they will work for you. But if like me, you don't like synthetic brushes then uh, obviously you're not going to like them. So I don't like to make negative reviews. I really don't like it. So if I know that I'm not going to like something, I'm not going to make a video of them. <laughs> no, that's right, that's for days one, days, yes. Yes, days. I remember I had my, my slam painted uh, like when it when that was already painted when I started my my uh, Kings of War army so that model was painted when I was uh, painting a uh, lizard man back in fantasy so and the rest of the army wasn't it was I think I remember I had this land painted and not much else at least not uh, not the new models not like uh, modern uh, models I had like all uh, skinks painted uh, like very badly and, I, and and the Islam was the best piece of my old army. It was I was really proud at the time of it. But when I went back and it just I put it like alongside the rest of the army, it just looked so bad. <laughs> it just looked it really looked uh, bad. So I went and re-highlighted every single detail to a point where I was happy. And I'm very happy with it.
think I'm finishing the throne, like the, the throne portion, but there's so much left to go. Oh, I feel like... I feel like I'm like halfway there and just been two hours. I'm tired. Actually, this is this has been like really intense. Yeah, I'm probably going to do this. I'm going to probably going to finish this tomorrow. Would you would you watch this again? I hey, would would you guys watch me finish this tomorrow? It's just like pointless. <laughs> I still don't understand how uh, people watch it now, but you know, whatever. Nice. Thank you for watching. 67 people. Beautiful. Well, hypothetically, what would it take for you to do a heavy contrast video for the uh, Fantasy High Elves? Uh, uh, nothing, because I, I really don't want to paint all models for the heavy contrast uh, series. It, 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 for me, it feels like uh, pointless. Uh, because uh, no one is, uh, I know there are a lot of people, but the amount of people that are going to go and search on um, on on YouTube how to paint high elves are just not big enough. I would rather paint some lumineth, which I know I know why you want it, and I really understand it. I'm an all um, I all my armies are all fantasy armies, but including high elves. But it's not a video that I'm, I know. Um, if you put um, 10 days of your work into a video and then it gets like a thousand or two thousand views it really feels very depressing so um, even though I don't really care about that, that that much I also want my videos to be watched so yeah <laughs> there you go Yeah, maybe the Phoenix God, maybe that's a good call. Uh, maybe, but again, uh, I will paint some city, uh, Cities of Sigmar models. So that is there because they are an actual faction. But uh, when? I don't know. So maybe when I reach to the Cities of Sigmar, I may do it. But I honestly, honestly doubt that GW is going to make another book for them. Seems like that kind of faction that is just gets one book and never be talked about again until they just redo them so drastically that you just cannot recognize them. It feels like that's what they are going to do. Maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like that book was just out just to please all the old uh, fantasy players or tricking them into, into making the the jump into um, Age of Sigmar finally, but I, I don't know. It's just an army that, uh, if you, it's like, feels like how old fantasy armies uh, felt when AOS dropped. Like they said, yes, we are going to support this. Like we promise, and then they didn't. <laughs> And then they just came out with that, like, like a sorry excuse of, uh, yeah, yeah, look, Cities of Sigmar, you're gonna still play them. I don't know. Maybe in just being like oh, too negative with this, but. Hello, Robbie, uh, thank you for watching. I wish there were more assembly videos. Yeah, um, they take a long time to do. Apparently, I just discovered how long it takes to build this. Oh God, this 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 is long time. This long building process. We have more branches there. This stuff goes here. It's about 15 minutes left of what I was planning, and I'm about half, probably a bit more than halfway, but. We still have a lot of stuff to glue together. So, so uh, if you don't, yeah, that's what I know the feeling of all that effort and one K views. Yeah, I know. Uh, trust me, uh, and I, I know I'm saying this from a point of 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 privilege because I have forty, uh, almost forty five thousand sub subs now, which I'm really proud. I'm really happy and. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. That's what I always answer my 
comments and I always uh, try to not miss anything. I'm that kind of guy that just goes and spend hours uh, answering uh, comments because I really appreciate everyone watching my videos. But I I still get the feeling that you see some, some videos made by other people. I'm not going to say who or what videos because I feel that is not... Uh, it wouldn't be... Uh, nice of me and that feels like and i know every one videos has their effort put into it you see some videos that um and they get like ridiculous amount of views and the video i feels like really really you know like i could just make that and, <laughs> and have that those views i mean you know uh, you know whatever and again not trying to dish anyone because i know how much effort goes into everything it's not that easy but sometimes you feel like you know what am i doing <laughs> i make spend 10 days making a painting video about i know a tyrannid painting in a weird color scheme like the flea um, like the high flea behemoth and then it doesn't really perform very well and you feel like I really love that video. I really love that video and no one's watching it. Like, uh, whatever. <laughs> Mark, yeah. Yeah, the, only current faction. So uh, if I make one, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm probably going to paint more Lumineth at some point. And I'm probably going to paint some Cities of Sigma at some point. But High Elves as High Elves, no. That is not going to happen. Uh, same reason I'm not going to paint uh, any Bretonians, just because even if it, I have an army and I love the models, it's just I don't feel like that is uh, content that is going to be long lived. That's another point that I want to make. I want to make content that uh, is going to get watched not just now, but uh, in years to come. So. And YouTube doesn't like that. YouTube likes videos that performs very well, very quickly, and then doesn't really care if no one ever watches them again. That's the kind of content that YouTube promotes, that YouTube um, algorithm is promoting because they just want a lot of views very fast and to stay in the platform for as long time as possible. So if you make a lot of uh, very popular videos now, like uh, from a theme that is very popular, like a style video that is very popular. And and if in a month time, no one's watching them, YouTube doesn't care because, and and you as a, as a content creator really don't care because all the money has already been made. The money has been made in the first uh, three or four days. After, the, after that, it's just like a plain curve. If you watch all your revenue, Revenue goes like spike and then falls back like nothing. After after the first four days, it's just gone, nothing. So yeah, YouTube doesn't care. <laughs> YouTube doesn't want you to make long um, lasting, long live videos. That's not what they are here for. They want you to make fast crap, fast performing crap, and then move on. You get a million views in a day. And then no one's watching them they don't care they have made their money and then move on but i want maybe i want to make videos that um, have value not just now but in 10 years time and i feel like if you make a high of video it's not going to have value apart from now so yeah you know i know i know the feeling but that's just how i feel how is this glued how are you glued here? Oh, nice. So you here have another anchor point to the uh, floaty rings, which is hidden behind. Yeah, this is this is this is going probably going to be a very solid model. I'm going to glue this. Uh, Robbie, will you build all of it on your paint? I don't know. I have I have already told. I will probably go into paint the. Um, 
I'm for sure going to paint Croak and the Skink separately. That's for sure, because otherwise it would be a pain. And the rest, I really don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> so, I, like literally no idea what I'm going to do here. Thank you, Mark. Your engagement is top notch. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Norman. I really appreciate you. Uh, I mean, um, at some point, I I said that I was only going to answer questions through uh, the the Patreon Discord, and I really meant it uh, when I when I when I said it. But here we are, and I am still asking um, answering questions all the time in all the comments. Yes, because I'm just that kind of person. <laughs> I just. I just, I really love helping people out. That's that's what I really like. And that's why I started this channel, just to, to help people. Um, T. O'Malley, uh, why do so few YouTubers use the Army Painter range in their videos? I don't want to put uh, you on the spot if you don't uh, fix sponsorship, but I would love straightforward answer. Honestly, uh, in, my, in my case, I, I, I don't have any. Uh, they are not for sale here in 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 Spain. I can't find them. I can't I can't get them, so I'm not going to use them. I got an an offer from a shop. Uh, it, it, this this didn't came from from well. It I got two offers. Uh, I uh, Army Painter wanted me to use the paint in the videos. They offered to send the whole range in exchange for me to use them in my videos. And the truth is, the truth is I just want to use Citadel paints. Um, and the reason why is because I feel like they are the easier to get. I know everyone in any part of the world can get Citadel paints, but I'm not sure if anyone can get Chimera, uh, Scale 75, even Vallejo or Army Painter or P3. So, I, although I have most of those ranges, I don't use them in the videos because I want my videos to be as repeatable and as easy to replicate as possible. And that means using paint that is not uh, that is widely available. And Citadel is the range that is widely available. Also, on, as a side note, Citadel is actually my favorite range of paints. So I. I but uh, again, Army Painter is one of the few ranges of paints that I haven't used just because I can't find them. And I don't want to just, I when, when I do want to try a new range of paints, buy like three or four and test them out. And if I like them, I buy more. Uh, and with uh, Army Painter, I don't want to pay the shipping just to get three or four. And if I don't like them, it feels like uh, money uh, thrown down the, the, down, down the drain, very expensive shipping cost and I'm not going to do it. As for all the people, um, I don't know if this is true, but a lot of people say that uh, Army Painter paints are not up to the up to the level that they think. I think there is a bit of, of, of BS in the sense that uh, each range of paints has good and bad paints and saying that a full range is shit is just stupid. And I, I really don't uh, sign that at all. I, and I will never say anything until I test them out. But I've seen videos uh, from um, Luke, Luke APS, where he uses them. And, and he says that for using them, you have to throw part of the medium away and whatever, and they separate very easily. And I feel like, it feels like I have to, um, like, I get the paint and it's not the paint. It's just like a, a pre-made <laughs> version and then I get the paint when I mix it together. I, I don't know. I feel like it's like kind of... His videos, I know he was sponsored by uh, by Army Painter, but those videos made me not want to uh, try the range at all. So <laughs> that was counterproductive um, uh, publicity, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, wow! <laughs> I, I, I take my... Uh, Okay, let, let me see that. That was awesome. Oh, hey, you focus here. You 
can you focus on me? There you go. Uh, I think the old world will be a reboot of War Monster. That may very well be the case. It's extremely strange that YouTube promotes single view videos because the channel I have engaged most. Yeah, but um, you are just one person and not the millions of, of people that just want to watch crap. Easy to digest crap, basically. That's what they are promoting. Just love your content. Thank you, Joe. That's extremely generous and really appreciate it. That really means a lot. Dev the Geek, you inspire a lot. Uh, you started recently and your passion uh, for pain inspired me to. Uh, to try and evolve, hope you. Uh, I will master conscious life with you one day. Thank you very much. Just keep practicing, man. Uh, that's all you need to do is just practice and just uh, just keep painting. So, um, the the way to get better is trying to be better. And if you if you if you if you try to improve, you will improve. Uh, that's something I can guarantee. That's how it works. Okay, so we have complicated joint here it wants to separate which I hate stay together you do add a bit more here so it's kind of free flowing a bit here there you go that should hold it in place um, so guys this is as far as I'm going to take it today if you like this uh, I will probably join tomorrow to fin try to finish this guy up uh, this took is going to take uh, way more time than I was expecting. So, um, if you want and you want to see me build this uh, frog uh, tomorrow, just join, or maybe on Sunday. I'm not sure, but I want to have this finished by the end of the weekend so I can prime it on Monday and 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 start painting it as soon as possible because I'm really excited about it. So I really feel a bit bad that you have made the, such a generous. Uh, donations just as I'm finishing but I, it's 12 o'clock uh, in, in the in the evening I want to spend like 10, 10, a bit of time with my wife so uh, thank you all very much for watching and I really mean that thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video uh, so I will I will probably try to post uh, that uh, announcement for the live stream as soon as I as I can uh, and it's going to be hard resisting building this, but honestly, as I have to work, it's not like it can <laughs> anyway. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Again, I'm repeating myself. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.